Today's Cowboys report is presented by ButcherBox. If you're like me, you don't want to play the game of is this meat good, is this meat not good, it's a dangerous game to play. And like most Cowboys fans, the number one stressor, right, is the Cowboys game on Thanksgiving. Number two, though, cooking the turkey. Well, ButcherBox is giving you a free turkey with your first order, 10 to 14 pounds, when you go over to butcherbox.com slash NFL Daily and use code NFL Daily. The Cowboys take down the Detroit Lions, the final score in this one, 24 to 6. Although I would say that's a bit of a deceptive line, the, the, the final score line, I should say, in, in terms of how the game really got played out. The Cowboys had 14 points in the fourth quarter. They outscore the Lions 21 to nothing after being down 6 to 3 at the half. The ground game was very slow to start and then got going later on. We'll talk some takeaways here in a little bit from the, the good and the bad, the defense. And that game could have really changed had Jamal Williams not fumbled on the one-yard line. Tank Lawrence got credit there. He was awesome. More on him a little bit in today's show. But a win is a win. Unfortunately, there are some injury news and notes to get into. Matt Farniak, who I, I got to go back and check. I think they might have given him the goal line package on the first Zeke touchdown run. Uh, he left the game with a hamstring injury, was ruled out, I think, fairly quickly, and did not return. i got to go back and check when that injury happened. I, I didn't catch it live. I only saw the, the post-game update later. But Farniak did leave the game with that hamstring injury. You saw some Jason Peters get some action uh, later on in that game. He's a backup guard slash center. Not what you want, but that is an injury from that standpoint. The big one, the one that's worth monitoring, since it seems like Dalton Schultz and Zeke are going to play through it, Jordan Lewis left the game after a critical interception, a great diving play by Jordan Lewis. Uh, foot, ankle, I, I don't know exactly what it was. Um, I hope it's on an Achilles, but he got carted off, had to just gingerly as all get out, limp off the field. So I hope J. Lou's okay. It did not look very good. We'll have to wait and see on that front. I'm sure we'll know more Monday or even maybe later today on Sunday. We'll keep you guys covered. We have a live show again tomorrow. I'm going to fight through that food poisoning and be back here again tomorrow for you. But it seems like Jordan Lewis should be okay uh, in the end. Cowboys take down the Lions 24-6. to So I want you guys to grade the Cowboys' overall performance today. They did cover. It was kind of wonky in terms of how they got there in the end. So this is the pinned comment on today's show. If the ad break happens to come here on YouTube, cool. Take advantage of it. Head down there and let me know what grade you give the Cowboys' performance. A, B, C, D, or F. You knew we were going to talk about Dak, right? I thought he was fine. Um, I actually thought he played better in the first half than the second half, but the numbers don't say that because, well, he didn't have two drops in the, in the second half like he did in the first half. Final stat line, 19 of 25, 207. The almost, if we're being honest, garbage time score to Peyton Hendershot as the Cowboys finally got some success there. The offensive line, as we'll get into, I did not think did a good job there. The receiving core had some issues today as well. Some drops, uh, I think at least one wrong route, but that happens to everyone, so it's, it's fine from that from that standpoint. Uh, the stat line for percentage-wise, by the way, 76% from Dak, which is pretty damn great, uh, 8.3 yards per carry. Uh, I, I wanted more out of the offense as a whole in the first half, but you didn't make the big turnover from your quarterback. That was a big deal there. Your third down efficiency. This is where I have problems here, and we're going to go more in depth on that in, in, as part of this here. You, with Cooper Rush, uh, weeks two to five, or six, whatever, you were one of the best teams at converting third and fourth and short yardage run situations. You were elite in that area, and they were bad today. They were very, very bad, and that really hamstrung some drives. Uh, you got yourself into a second and 20 on, your, I think, your lone non-scoring drive in the second half or one of your two, whatever it was. Cowboys got to run the football better in short yardage. Beyond that, they were good today. But three of nine on third down, a lot of those were runs. Plus, he had the really super long third and 20, which, of course, you did not commit. So rate the, gra the, the, wow. rate the game for me from Dak Prescott. Zero to ten. Zero on the high end, or on the low end. Ten on the high end. I'm blaming the loopiness on my uh, food poisoning. But let me know. Rate the game from Dak Prescott. Number two, the run game got going later. Uh, I forget what the exact number was, but the Cowboys had like, I think, 52 yards of off uh, uh, on the ground in the first half. They had 54 on their first drive of the third quarter. Elliott was really slow to start. 
and then got going late. Two touchdowns, fantasy owners everywhere in, in, in excitement there. 15 carries, uh, 57 yards, 3.8 average. Again, it kind of got brought down by a couple short yardage touchdown runs, a couple of failed third down pickups that were a big problem there, but I don't think that was the ground game's fault in terms of the, the running backs. More on the offensive line in a minute. Tony Pollard, once again, electric. 12 carries, 83 yards beyond the uh, – also had 26 yards through the air, which – they might, they might have called one of those a shovel on a toss from Pollard. I'm not sure. i got to go back and check that. Well, I know one was a check down, but 12 carries, 83 yards, no scores, but Pollard continues to be the electric playmaker, and Zeke continues to be your battering ram, your efficiency player on the ground game. Overall, pretty pleased with the split. Maybe a little bit more to Pollard, but that's okay. Like I mentioned earlier, today's show is made possible by ButcherBox. If you're like me, you don't want to gamble on low-end meats or if this is good, if this is not good. And if we're being honest, the main course of Thanksgiving dinner can be a huge source of stress, especially uh, beyond the Cowboys game that always gives me an ulcer in that game. ButcherBox is offering our listeners free turkey with their first order. Sign up today at ButcherBox.com slash NFL Daily and use code NFL Daily to get one 10 to 14 pound turkey for free in your first box. We'll put the link in the comment section as well. ButcherBox.com slash NFL Daily. Use code NFL Daily. Reminder, folks, free shipping to the continental U.S., a, a wide array of different boxes and options and member deals. You will love ButcherBox. Baby Olivia loves ButcherBox as well. Free turkey, first order, butcherbox.com slash NFL Daily. Number three, I don't think your old line played very well. I, I got to go back and, especially from like a live standpoint, offensive line is really hard for me to, to judge. But I saw a lot of times your Offensive tackles getting pushed back. I thought Tyler Smith did not play that great. Kind of settled himself down into a rough first half. Terrence Steele, a couple penalties today. That's not that's not what he's done since week one. He kind of fixed that issue. Uh, didn't have great confidence with the pocket pressuring, and you kind of saw Dak get a bit antsy uh, at, at points in that game. So the offensive line, especially early, again, the, the entire team got going more later, did not play that great. That's that's a big concern I have because, like with most football, especially if a team wants to run the football a lot, Got to have a good offensive line. What you don't want is third and forever, as the Cowboys had a few times, and then the defense is teeing off on you. That's where you have issues. You saw it from the Cowboys' defense too, right? They got after um, Jared Goff late in that game and made some big-time plays. Now, if you want the Cowboys to keep on winning football games, then subscribe right now. Hit that big red button and sub for Cowboys dubs. It is backed and proven by science. When you subscribe, you are more likely to help the Cowboys win football games. Number four takeaway. I want to give some particular shout-outs here to Sam Williams and Demarcus Lawrence. I thought both of those guys were awesome. Tank Lawrence had three tackles. Uh, he got credit for a forced fumble. A lot of good run stops. A lot of pressures today as well. I, th I thought Lawrence had himself an awesome game. I think he had a f at least one forced fumble as well, plus a fumble recovery. Uh, yes, he did. Lawrence, Lawrence was impactful in this game. Stat sheet says no sacks. Those of us who watch the game know he was everywhere, especially as Micah was kind of quiet to start the first half. How about Sam Williams? Hopefully, this is the breakout game for the young edge rusher. Three tackles, two TFLs, two sacks, a fumble recovery. Uh, I can't remember if he forced a fumble either, but it was a very impressive game out of Sam Williams. I want to give him some love. He's been a little bit quiet, showed some promise the past couple weeks. Took a big-time step for you. He did have a, a, a forced fumble. Perfect. There we go. Big game out of Sam Williams. He was awesome today. Who was your MVP from the win? Let me know. I want to give some – I think in the end, I'm going to go Tank Lawrence because as much as I love the way Sam Williams played, the way your ground game got going, the forced fumble late in the football game, or, or I should say in the first half, um, by Tank Lawrence at the one-yard line, absolutely changed that game. The Lions are about to go score. Your offense, offense was, was having issues. You stopped them from getting points there. That was huge. So let me know who was your MVP from the win. Number five takeaway, team's got to play better still. 24-6 uh, looks nice. That is not how it played out in the first half, though. The, the, the Lions in particular got the tight ends going. Brock Wright, who Sam had never heard of, four catches, 57 yards. Hawkinson, 4 for 48. Got to do better there. Jared Goff did throw two back-breaking and had a couple of turnovers, by the way. But he was 21 of 26 for 228. He was good 
until he threw that stupid deep shot to Trayvon Diggs, who had an INT again today. The ground game was pretty effective. I don't think six points reflects how easily the Lions move the football on offense. I'm not sure 24 points reflects how the Cowboys move the ball on offense, particularly in that first half. Got to play better. Lions are a scrappy team. They always compete. They came out ready to go. Credit to, credit to, to Dan Quinn. Got to do better moving forward. So Cowboys win 24-6, to six, a, a big win for Dallas to improve, keep winning football games, 5-2 and two now on the, on the season. Offense was a bit murky. Maybe some rust got knocked off from Dak, but you'll take the 24-6 win every time.